in this video i am going to share you about an important configuration that you can see in api kit router called strict validation i'll tell you what is the importance of that for now to show for a demo i have designed a raml i have one resource called orders and it is a get method okay and um, i have like one header called output type it is a string and i have query parameters where i have defined two query parameters order id and order type so you can see on my right side it is a mock api where you can see two query parameters and one header and i am sending the request you are getting 200 success response okay this is well and good here this is mock api and uh, what we usually do is we just test for this purpose itself okay we are testing whether our query parameters are working fine or not or you what you will do is you will remove one of the query parameters and you will be checking that whether it is working as expected but there is something beyond you need to check what is that so for that what i am going to do is i have downloaded the project okay downloaded the raml and created a new project and generated the flows here you can see that okay i have just deployed my application on my local i am not doing any kind of uh, development part over here it's just i have imported the raml and i have uh, deployed it so request with uh, order id order type okay and one header output type application json so i am sending the request here i am getting success response which is as expected if i remove my header it should give bad request which is as expected you can see bad request and if you remove any one of this query parameter it will give you bad request so this is what we usually test from our side our scope is only till here but there is something which you need to concentrate on what if i am trying to pass additional query parameters you can see i am passing another additional query query parameter called name equal to sravan you can see still i am getting a success response what if i add one more parameter called uh, employee id equal to one two three four five yes you can see there is success response like this if someone tries to pass thousand query parameters like this what will happen it will still accept all thousand query parameters and in your code if at all you are using like attributes dot query parameters if at all you are trying to print attributes dot query parameters the application may crash due to multiple fields or if you are passing payload within this like huge payload with a long string some thousands of string like this it will crash your application right that is one way of kind of attacking your application so what's uh, what's the other way to withhold this one okay we should restrict this extra or additional query parameters other than what we have defined in the raml the same thing goes with your headers as well if i to, for example i am passing additional header and i am sending the request you can see still i am getting the success response like this someone might attack your api by passing thousands of headers and thousands of query pa query parameters which will up crash your application in that case what you have to do is you have it's a very small change you have to go to api kit router configuration you can see by default there are two there are two fields where they are unchecked they are query parameter strict validation and headers strict validation for now both are unchecked for that what you have to do is you need to check these two so that it will not allow any query parameter or any header that are passed other than what you have defined in your raml now i have checked those two things let me save my application it will redeploy and we shall see if at all we pass additional query parameters or headers it will give a success response or not it will fail at raml level itself it will fail at api kit router level itself so this is very important when you are doing your project make sure you are keeping strict validations for your query parameters and headers so that um, external attack with multiple fields or multiple headers will not be happen okay so let me try to check let me redeploy or my application is getting redeployed
you can see my application is redeployed for now i will not pass any additional fields here to just check for a success scenario you can see you can see it is giving bad request because there are additional headers over here let me send the request you can see still it is giving because there are some fields which i have to uncheck so let me remove this for now let me try to as these are general settings let me try to allow external headers but restrict query parameters just for this demo purpose so i will go to the configuration again because i have some uh, important settings in postman so i will disable the header strict validation so that it can allow i think there is an issue with my postman let me add this one okay so let me pass cunt output type whatever it is i can just pass any value you can see i am getting a success response what if i am passing additional query parameter here so it's like name equal to seven now you can see you are getting a bad request because there is a validation done for query parameters there is strict validation done for query parameters so that any additional query parameter that you are passing will not be allowed you to pass through your url okay so this is something which is very important try to use this configuration so that uh, you won't be uh, you know your application won't be attacked by external uh, attack it's kind of one kind of attacking to you know uh, crash your application or something so try to just use this strict validations hope you like this video